Hi, this is Jando, aka Frags with the DNB Academy, and welcome to another sound recreation video. And for this one, I brought you this lovely tune by Visage called Yalda. It's an amazing tune because it's so rich in the fundamentals of drum and bass, you know, uh, that um, I decided to, why not? Let's give it a shot at this uh, awesome re space that they got going on here. Uh, so, first things first, let's take a listen to the original and what we've done with it. One first when life will start Right, so as you might have figured already, we're gonna do this um, re-space. So let's check our version of it. So yeah, this is it. Let's flip the screen and get right into Serum. So as I said in the beginning, this sound is really rich in the fundamentals of drum and bass. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing on this one. Uh, it's going to consist on two different saw waves, um, as we can see here by the default wave tables on Serum. And let me play you this as we have it. So yeah, this is pretty much it. And what we're going to do to create a bit more phasing is one of the most classic techniques on drum and bass as well. So we're gonna crank this down to negative 16 semitones, I mean sends, and here as well, but on the positive side. So we already created sort of the juice uh, that we were after at this point. So knowing that we're using these um, saw waves as our main sound, we kind of need something else to take the role of the main bass, all right? And for that, we gonna use our sub oscillator and here we're just going to crank up the volume so now we have a richer low end and also turn on the mono legato and always okay we can take down the random phase so it gets a bit more consistent you know and at this point, it's where we should be looking at the original and understanding the flow they got uh, on the on the respace. It's most of it comes from the movement on the filter, right? And I think we should go with um, a low low pass filter because this is pretty much it, all right? Uh, we're gonna automate this, all right? Uh, I'll just check in in a bit as soon as I get the automation done. So yeah, guys, it's pretty much it. You know, I just applied a little bit of um of automation to our low pass filter, so it sounds like this now, just to kind of match the original, right? So let's bring Serum back here. And now let's apply some processing on our effects tab on Serum just to make this stand out a bit better, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do, just add some distortion, all right? Some tube. Because we're gonna be applying a bit more distortion in a bit. Some chorus with the iPass filter on. So it's getting there. Now some EQ because we want to take out all the muddiness from this 500 hertz area or mid. Now we're gonna compress this. Just boost a bit of the mid, a bit of the lows in our multiband mode. And maybe take away uh, some of the tops. That can be just a bit too much at this point. So now that we finally managed to wrap up the patch and make it sound super close to the original, we need to give it some processing outside of Serum uh, so we can make it even better. So all right, I just applied a Pro Q to our main sound, so we can just you know correct some stuff, boost some stuff if we want before. Sending this to the distortion. Actually, make the 
it's a bit stronger. Right, cool. And now, really important, we need some type of distortion that it's not like overwhelming, but it's not also like super, you know, dull and tamed, you know? We're probably gonna go with something like Drive, uh, Crunchy Grunge, for instance. Super similar to the one they use on the song, and we can just wave shape it a bit. We can try to like all these up until something clicks, but honestly, I feel like this one works pretty well. So after we get all the distortion done. We're just going to wrap it up with some OTT, you know, the drill. This will help us consolidate some of these elements and all these frequencies uh, that we actually boosted uh, with all of our distortion. We don't want much of this, these tops. We just want more of the mids and the lows. Alright, so I think we got it guys. Let's take a listen to this on top of the original to see how it sounds like. Really a fundamental technique and if you look at your library and listen a bit a couple of sets here and there, you'll find out that this sort of bass is present in loads and loads of songs. All right? So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.